Hi people, um, haven't made a video in a while, I apologize. There's good reason for that, I'll explain that later. Uh, first I just want to thank everybody for messaging me with your thoughts and prayers, uh, excellent. Uh, but if I somehow missed getting back to you, uh, you can message me on here or Facebook or whatever. Um, but I think I pretty much got back in, to everyone who's messaged me with questions, which is great, you know. Uh, I get a lot of questions about, you know, people people are afraid and they're scared, you know, when they have these issues going on, they don't know what to expect. People that get first get diagnosed, they think they don't have any hope and they, they think their life's over. Your life's not over, okay? If you get diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, you can still have a good life. There are a lot of cures on the horizon. Um, there have been for years, though, so don't get your hopes too high. Uh, but if you Google right now, if you Google Parkinson's cure, it'll immediately show you two or three results recently. One of them is a drug that treats leukemia. Uh, hopefully we can get that. It's already FDA approved. It is very expensive, though, so maybe if you're you know, a millionaire, you could probably get it. Uh, that's a joke. Uh, but I think that they're making some real progress. Um, I've been upset with with the whole let's treat Parkinson's instead of let's cure Parkinson's. Every time you go to your neurologist, we're going to treat you. Oh, you treat the flu. You don't you don't treat Parkinson's disease. You try to find a cure for it. You know, you treat something like the flu. You know the flu's going away next week. Anyways, I know about it's about improving your quality of life. Um, but if I'm drinking caffeine to stay awake. And you're telling me caffeine's bad for me, but you're giving me medicine that's meant for old people that you don't know how it's going to affect me 30 years from now. Does anybody know how cinnamon's going to affect me 30 years down the road? No. We got a good idea. It might give me dyskinesia, right? I don't want to do that. I don't want to be like that. Which I am on cinnamon now. I've seen the new neurologist in Chicago. She's great. Um, started me off on cinnamon. It takes me quite a bit of cinnamon, I think, to get a good result. I'm on two and a half tabs in the morning, two afternoon, two in the evening, and I can barely move my hand. Thank you. But I can still move it. I can move it better than I ever have. Look at that. It's crazy. Uh, uh, but anyways, I want to get back to this. this is these people that are contacting me and they're afraid. Uh, I'm going to give you a little background of myself and why I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, you know, I grew up, uh, my, my parents were together for a while and they got divorced, you know, it happens. Um, my mother got addicted to drugs pretty bad and I ended up, you know, being alone with my brother and sister a lot. We didn't have nothing. We had no phone, no TV, nothing. We had nothing. Um, so I ended up watching them. Your, your environment creates character. It can help mold you and you can either use your environment to do bad or you can use, use it like I did to learn from it. I wanted to learn from it. I want to say this is not how I want to be when I when I get older. You know, when I'm 16 years old and I'm at home and you know my, I'm watching my brother and sister and they're growing up in this environment. You know, the odds of any of us making it um, are, are not good. Really, any of the three of us are not good. And as you'll learn here in a minute, you know, I, I'm pretty much the only one that's really made it um, out of that environment. And, uh, you know, I, I ran the streets, I fought, I got in a lot of fights, I was very angry, had a lot of anxiety, and uh, got in a lot of fights. I never, I never, uh, I didn't always win, but I never lost. So, uh, I took that as motivation to learn from it, you know, and it's part of growing up too. Uh, and it, it builds you into who you are today. You know, it builds me into a warrior. I wouldn't be as strong as I am today if I didn't go through that experience, right? Uh, if, you know, my wife, God bless her, grew up very sheltered and went to a good school, good Christian school. College was paid for. I mean, that's fine. That's great. That's how I want to raise my daughter. Who I just my, my wife just gave birth to our daughter on October 9th. She's beautiful, by the way. Um... <laughs> That's how I want to raise my, my daughter. I, I really wouldn't want her to go through what I had to go through. Because, like I said, most people don't come out of it and succeed. I mean, I should be in jail or locked up or 
dead, you know. Uh, you know, I got diagnosed with Parkinson's at 25, almost 26. Um, I was still in school. I graduated last year. My bachelor's in business administration. The next day, uh, the day, the, the, the day after I graduated, okay, I got a phone call that night, and my sister had been in a car accident from a drunk driver, and she passed away the next day. So I was in a, I was in a bad place, you know. I was in a bad, and, uh, you know, you go into these, especially people with Parkinson's disease, we go into this depression, and it's like, sometimes you can't get out of it. And, uh, you know, uh, I prayed, though, after that happened. I forgave the guy immediately. Um, and every, after everything I've done, you know, I, I just keep praying. I know a lot of a lot of you are atheists. That's fine, but you've got to find a way to motivate yourselves. This isn't the end of you. Um, keep 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 the motivation. It's it's hard for us to get motivated. We we all have that in common. People with Parkinson's disease, we can't, we don't get motivated over anything. You know, I'm a man, but uh, so some things do motivate me. But uh, it's hard to find energy sometimes. And I'm like, man, I just thought I was lazy all these years, but no, it turns out. Yeah, I think it's a big part of it's Parkinson's disease because sometimes I feel really great. You know, if I get good sleep and I'm eating okay and taking my med medicine on time and eating when I should eat, uh, I feel pretty good actually, and I feel good about our chances of getting some kind of cure. Um, I don't know if they want us on cinema the rest of our lives because of financial uh, reasons. I don't know. I, I heard people talk about that, and I, I'm kind of like. You know, wondering if we're ever going to get a cure, because we see these cures. People talk about them. There's articles. Uh, these colleges produce these results that are, are good results, and then you never hear from them again. It's like, okay. Um, but anyways, I that's why I have not uh, posted in a while. I do apologize for that. Um, you know. Uh, but, like I said, your, your environment molds you to who you are. Part, Parkinson's disease is, is, is tough, it's hard. And you have to fight to motivate yourself. You have to fight to do your everyday tasks. But you have to be a warrior. You know, This is, this is not a disease for the weak-minded or even the weak-bodied. You have to be strong. You have to physically work out and motivate yourself. And and exercise and know when it's time to call it quits you know I'll be out playing competitive sports and I've gotten hurt and I've gotten sick because I just didn't want to stop playing and you've got to know when it's time to say hey I'm done you know you're done you, you've got to you've got to you got to know your limits and uh, you know for me I, I don't like to think that I have a limit but but we do, you know, we have our limits, but we're warriors, and you have to continue to battle and fight. For those of you that think you have Parkinson's disease, you need to go to the doctor and get a proper diagnosis because there are a lot of things similar to it. Some of them are worse. Most of them are not, and most of the time, you know, chances are you don't have it. Uh, as far as my symptoms, I'm pretty, I'm pretty solid now. I, I limp a little bit more, but uh, the cinema is kind of helping me. And I'm at the place where the sentiment makes me tired, so I'm like, do I want to be tired? Or do I want to be able to use my hand a little better? Do I want to walk a little better? Do I want to move better, or do I want to be tired? Well, I can balance the being tired with caffeine, right? Well, then I, I get the caffeine, but that's bad for you, and they say that's bad for you. But then they give me the pill for sentiment that they don't know how it's going to affect me 30 years down the road. So, you have to take care of yourself, listen to your body. Um, there's a lot of research going on. Um, um, I think that clinical trials can be good. I know that they're coming out with new pr procedures for DBS. They're updating that, which is fantastic. I do have another video that I'm going to upload probably within the next month that discusses more specific things. But since I've gotten a lot of questions and basically what I get is a lot of questions about and people are concerned and they think their life's over. Your life's not over. You need to be a warrior and you need to you need to motivate yourself to every day how do you get about how do you get out get out of bed? First off you need to motivate yourself to get out of bed. 
because I'll wake up to an alarm clock and I'm just like, it's not happening today. And I'll hit it, you know. And if anybody has that, what is it, the, the, the Reconlib or something, that, that uh, leukemia drug, if you could sell me some of that on the low for cheap, hit me up, man. I'm trying to, trying to get on this, I'm trying to get on this, uh, this new medicine, because <laughs> I want to, I want to get rid of this crap. That's a joke too. Uh, but seriously, just inbox me and we'll, we'll talk about it. Um, again, I'll be putting up another video. I thank you for all your questions. Um, and uh, look forward to hearing from all, from all of you. Thank you.